That's the pipe, that's my type, that's my type Let's do it, right around it I can see why all these basic pissed Bust down Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Nate Ling, be back with another video. I know, like, I'm so inconsistent, and like, I'm sorry, but listen, like, college, one, Nate Ling, zero. Not even one, like, a hundred, and then Nate Ling, zero. Like, I see now, like, cause like, before I came to college, I was watching, like, other, like, college vlogs, and like, these people were so inconsistent with their channels, that like, every time they posted a video, like, they'd be like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry, like, I'm busy, and I always tell myself, oh, that's not gonna be me. I'm gonna remain consistent because like in the summertime I was posting a video every single day and then I was like yeah when I, I was just like you know I'm gonna be consistent like if I don't have like a specific video idea I'm just gonna do a regular day vlog who did I lie to because last time I posted a video was block party and that was months ago so yeah today I'm going to be getting today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag <laughs> These are really sad. Oh my god. Okay. So most of the time, when people do videos like these, they post like the little question thing, the question sticker on their Instagram, and the people reply. But I have no friends, so when I posted that, nobody like said anything. So I just searched up get to know me questions, and I'm going to ask myself the question, and I'm going to you know answer it because you know this is what people with no friends do. So the first question is, how tall are you? I am 5'8", I believe. I honestly haven't gotten measured in like really, really long. But yeah, I think I'm around 5'8". Like, I know I'm not 5'9". You know, maybe. I feel like I'm 5'8", pushing 5'9". There we go. Next question, what's your funniest moment throughout high school? Okay, funniest moment throughout high school? I had a lot of funny moments in high school, to be honest. Um, hmm. I think my funniest moment. <coughs> I'm sorry, this candy is really sour, but like it's mad good. And if you go to UA, then you you know, then you know, UA, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Got y'all be the edges though. Mm -hmm. Okay, honestly, I think the funniest moment is. Alright, but I feel like there's multiple funny moments from my freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. But the one of the funniest moments was my senior year. Some girl had brought her wig to school for prom. But it was like months before prom. So like, we honestly don't even know why she bought it. And in my opinion, like, it was bad wig. But that's none of my business. However, my friend Kimberly put the wig on in class and was just, mind you, this is not her wig. And she has the wiggle one and everybody was weak like it was just mad funny if i could find a video i'm gonna insert it because it's like that was like hilarious like she really had the wiggle one hey, kimberly <laughs> kimberly <laughs> kimberly <laughs> okay next question what year were you born in? i was born in 2001 you know 2000 baby however i hate when 90s babies be like oh yeah 2000 babies is not it i don't know like what we had to go through like first of all i was born in 2001 so the same toys yeah i grew up on i grew up on the same thing like i remember nintendo 64 i remember the little ds like i remember all of that like they really be trying to play us like like i'm not a part of the 2003 babies 2004 5 6 like no like i feel like 2000 2001 should that be like considered 90s babies because it's like we dead know like all the toys all the shows everything like i remember all of that Next question is, are you in slash have you gone to college? I'm currently in college, and if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, take this time right now to subscribe to my channel, you know, join the Link family, you know. Thanksgiving break is coming up, more vlogs. Christmas break is coming up, more vlogs. So, you know, stay tuned for that. So, you know, like, subscribe, because why would you want to miss that? And why would you not want to join the Link family? Like, don't you want to be able to call yourself a Link? Like, what? Anyways. Um, yeah, so if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and if you don't know, um, yeah, I go to the University at Albany, you know, go Great Danes, 
And yeah, I'm currently a bio major, human pre-med, human bio major on a pre-med track. Um, because I either plan on being a doctor, a surgeon, or a physician assistant. One of those three, but either way, they're all in the med field, so. Next question is, what are your life goals? Um, my life goals are to graduate college, you know, go to med school, graduate med school. Um, obviously, work. I don't want to work in, like, a clinic. I actually want to work in a hospital because I do want to work in the trauma unit. Like, people say that, you know, I want to be a doctor or whatever, but they don't really know where they want to work at. Like, they don't really care if they work in a clinic or a hospital. I want to work in a hospital, in the trauma unit, because, like, that's, like, the stuff I'm into. Like, I want somebody to be rushed in with five bullet holes bleeding out, and I want to be like, I got it. That, you know, let's get to work like that stuff I'm into like even on Instagram if you guys haven't seen this Instagram before I'm not gonna post pictures because it's graphic but the Instagram is called medicalpedia I'm gonna put it in the link below I mean in the description below if you want to check it out if you're like a med student or like you're really into that stuff it basically shows like fingers ripped off surgeries like it's really graphic though so if you have a weak stomach like do not look at it but like that's the type of stuff I'm into like I don't care I don't care okay but yeah, I want to work in the trauma unit. I want to get my own house. Like, people be thinking like, oh yeah, I'm going to get married and we're going to get a house together. No, I want to have enough money to buy my own house. Like, my own crib. Not even a crib. Like, actual house, backyard, garage, all of that. Um, In my junior year, or maybe even next year, I actually want to minor in business. Because even though I am, like, interested in medical stuff, I don't want to, like, be an entrepreneur. So, like, I'm still working things out. Feel me? But just know I'm trying to go a lot of a lot of different paths. Next question: What is your favorite movie? So my favorite movie is Coraline. And if you guys don't know like what movie that is, and like are you living under a rock? Like I really don't understand. But yeah, my favorite movie is Coraline. It came out when I was like eight years old, so it came out in 2009. And it's basically like it's an animated movie, not anime, but like it's animated. Like it's not you know real humans. Um. But yeah, it's about some girl, she moves into a house, there's like a little door, and every night she would go through the door to the other side, and it will be a family just like hers with button eyes, and they try to show buttons into her eyes. And yeah, it's a great movie, so if you haven't seen it, like, go check it out, like, that's like a bomb movie, like, every time I tell people that's my favorite movie, they be like, what, like, you're mad weird, like, that movie is mad, like, weird, and people be like, uh, I don't care, like, I like the movie, that's my favorite movie, uh. Next question is, what is your idea of a dream date? My idea of a dream date is seafood like I don't care where we go like as long as they have seafood like I don't know I, I feel like sometimes females be too picky like oh, you need to take me to Ruth Chris or Carmine's if you guys don't know what those restaurants are like they're really expensive restaurants I personally don't care like just the fact that like you know you're supposed to take me out like that's all I care about like I really don't care about how much it costs or you know whatever the case may be and plus I'm very independent like I had a job I worked a lot like even if you take me out somewhere, I'm probably still going to end up fighting you so I can pay for myself or pay for the both of us just because, like, I don't like when boys do stuff for me. Like, I like to do stuff by myself, for myself. So, yeah, that's just that on that. But my dream day would basically be, like, seafood. Like, it could be the cheapest restaurant in the world. It could be the most expensive restaurant in the world. It could be in the middle. I really don't care. It could be in the ghetto. I don't care as long as they have seafood. Like, next question is, how would you describe your go-to hairstyle? I mean, wait, what? How would you describe your fashion sense? From a scale of 1 to 10, I feel like my fashion sense is a calm 7. I'm going to give my fashion sense a 7. It's not a 10 because like, I don't got like no unique style. And then it's not a 9 because it's like, I really don't dress up that much. And it's not an 8 because a lot of the outfits I wear, like, I wore them before. I give it a 7 because it's like, when I do need to put stuff together, I can then put stuff together, like, really nicely. And on top of that, like, if I need to pop out, you know, with the money fit, the drip, you know, drip too hard, don't stand too close, might drown, you know, like, I can then do it, I can then pull it off, so. That's how I'm gonna give myself a 7. Like, a 6.57, like, I, I get the job done. Like, it might not be like, oh my god, like, you see her fit, but it's gonna be like a, nah, like, you look good, feel me, like. You look bad, like you look good, you look good. Next question is, what is your go-to hairstyle? Okay, this right here is my go-to hairstyle. It might look a little weird right here because, like, it's wet and everything else is dry. And I only wet this because, like, it was fuzzy. I said fuzzy. It was frizzy and, like, it had lost the curls. So, yeah, I had to wet it and 
put some conditioner in it so it could look nice again and it's still kind of dry and that's why it's like kind of falling flat and this is like you know all poofy but when it dries it's gonna be fine you know but this is my go-to hairstyle just because like it's really easy like it's not in my face it's not like slicked down you know to the back of my neck like it's just up out the way like it's mad easy and then in the morning just redo my edges wet it you know fluff it back out and i'm good to go next question is how many siblings do you have i have four siblings i have three older brothers and one little sister um my sister and one of my brothers come from my mom and then two of my other brothers come from my father next question is what is your most memorable vacation memory so this was when i was five years old and me and my mom and my brother went to disney world and like for anybody who's went to disney world you know they have like those live action like concerts or shows like they're very like i don't know how to describe but like basically we were watching like um the life of a spider or something like that and whatever happened like on the screen happened like to us sitting down so on the screen like the bugs started scattering so the seat you were sitting on it had like something under it that would move back and forth so it made everyone think that like there was a bug crawling under their butt like it was hilarious and then it had something where like the spider like sprayed out a web so like in the audience they sprayed out water and like a mist or something like that but like it was really cool but like when i was a kid i was also really scared of stuff like that so i remember like the very first time i held my mom and then we had like some like fast pass ticket like i don't know we watched the show multiple times like literally back to back to back the exact same show but it was like after the first time i was like oh, okay like it's not to be scared about and i enjoyed it the second time but it was just really cool like you know it was very interactive because it's like you wouldn't expect to feel something crawling under you you wouldn't expect to feel you know yourself to get sprayed like with water or mist like it was it was just really cool and then like even on the screen like the spiders dropped down this is what scared me they have big spiders on the ceiling but like because it's dark in there and nobody's looking up at the ceiling we didn't realize it until they dropped and just imagine like a big spider just dropping down like like i don't even know like just i don't know like just imagine you're sitting there and a spider just <laughs> Okay, I probably just did like three much, but like, yeah, like a big spider just like dropped down in front of you. And that scared me because like that was like not unexpected. But other than that, like, yeah, that's my favorite um vacation memory. What is your favorite Netflix show? My favorite Netflix show is The End of the Effing World. I don't want to curse, so I'm just going to say effing. But yeah, that show was amazing. Like, I finished all of this, like, I'm really mad. But, like, that show was, like, really the bomb. Like, and also The Office. Like, people like, oh, The Office is so boring. <laughs> like, first of all, you have no sense of humor. Like, you really have to be in touch with, like, a different side of funny in order to find The Office funny. I think it's hilarious. But, like, yeah, and also Friends. Like, Friends is amazing. Like, I love Friends. Like, when it was over, like, I cried. Like, because it's like, what am I supposed to watch now? Next question is, do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog. She's a Shih Tzu mixed with a Maltese. Her name is Layla. This is a picture of her. You know, she's this absolutely adorable. Like, yeah, like this is my baby. Like my first child and my only child. The next question is, what are you doing in your free time? When you're a college student, you don't really have free time. If you have free time, that's just basically you procrastinating to do something because there's always work to do. But, um... I sleep like I literally go to class and I come back to my room and I sleep until whatever time I wake up so that could either be two to three hours to eight hours like yes I got out of class at two o'clock took a nap and woke up at 10 30 like but yeah I go to sleep then I go to eat come back to my room probably sleep some more then go to class like that is literally all I do next question is do you have any weird quirks Kurtz? corks I think it's corks um i'm just weird in general so i don't can't really point out a weird quirk because like i am a weird quirk like i'm literally just a walking weird quirk i feel like i'm not saying that word correct you ever said a word like so many times that like your brain starts to think like it's not a real word anymore like whatever but the point is like i can't really point out my a weird quirk of mine but like i'm just like if you really hang out with me then you'll see like yeah, I see it. She's kind of weird a little bit. Yeah, I got it. Next question is pet peeves. I have a long list of pet peeves.
peeves. Oh my god. The first one is I hate when people wear Uggs in the rain, like especially pouring rain like those shoes are not made for rain like you're gonna be walking it's like basically walking around in a big wet sock that's basically how it is like why would you wear your uggs in the rain and then anybody who has uggs knows that when they get like really like really really wet like when they dry they don't go back to looking like the way they looked before like it may be similar looking but it's not exactly the same second pet peeve is i hate when people chew with their mouth open like close your mouth i do not want to see you like yeah. like I don't care if people talk with their mouth full as long as you go like this because then it's like I can't see your food but I can hear what you're saying like I don't have a problem but then when you're just talking like yeah so like I don't want to see that like why 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 also I hate people that like beat around the bush like if I ask you to come somewhere with me and you really don't want to come just say no like just be like nah, nah, i'm not gonna lie bro like i don't want to go don't sit there and be like yeah i'll come and then the whole time you're with me you're complaining like oh, i'm tired my feet hurts ah 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 like for that just say no like i'm not gonna feel offended i'm gonna be happy that you were honest like i may be like really bro like i always go with you places blah 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 but i'm not gonna be like super mad because it's like you were honest like you don't want to come i'll find somebody who does want to come feel me so yeah that was my q a i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe down below hit the thumbs up button leave a comment if you want to that's totally up to you and turn on post notifications because like i said all these breaks is coming up which means i'm about to be back to the summertime vibe of posting videos back to back to back to back to back and why would you want to miss out on that like i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand But yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Hopefully you join the Link family. Bye!